Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be memory planning and this will be for the week of June 8th through the 14th and for this week I'm going to be using this kit from Tropical Paper Co. Um, I'm not quite sure if her shop is open right now because she is based in India and with COVID closures and everything it's I think been really hard for her to um, continue shipping out kits. She might actually have some printables available in her shop so if she does I'm going to go ahead and link that down below. Um, but I did pick up this kit a while ago and I just think it's so pretty and I'm really happy to be finally using it. Um, here we have the full boxes and some quarter boxes at the very bottom. And then on this page, we have a ton of half boxes, third boxes, bow checklists, and um, just different functional boxes. Here we have the icons, a ton of text stickers. We have a Hello Weekend banner, some flags, a Bill Do sticker, movie marquee, sidebar tracker, and then the scalloped bow checklists. And then the last page here has the bottom washi, which is these two different strips. We've got um, a set of date covers, and then I think these are washi strips down here. So lots of stickers to work with. And this kit is not foiled, but I am planning to pull in some gold foil um, just to kind of give it some sparkle. And um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. If you're interested in watching me plan, then stay tuned. While I'm laying down the foundations of my spread, I wanted to let you guys know what I'm gonna be doing for my planning in the upcoming weeks. Um, so as many of you guys probably already know, Erin Condren was involved in some really insensitive behaviors in regards to both Black Lives Matter as well as COVID. Um, so basically she and her children decided to throw a graduation party disguised as a protest so that they could defy the ban on large gatherings. And, um, um, that is just so insensitive and so inappropriate for many reasons. First of all, I just think it's such a slap in the face for anyone who's actually out there protesting police brutality against black people and, you know, standing up for racial equality. I just feel that her actions completely belittle the work that's actually being put in for social progress. And second of all, from the pictures that were released from this graduation march, um, basically no one was wearing a mask. And given the increase in the COVID numbers and rate of infections. I just feel like that is so irresponsible of them on that front. Clearly, they have no regard for the safety of their community and um, just behaved in such a selfish way. So because of that, I am choosing to no longer support Erin Condren. Um, if in the future something changes and I see that her behaviors and her intentions have changed, um, I may change my mind at that time. But for right now, I just personally don't feel comfortable continuing to support a company that does not reflect my personal values and my beliefs. And so um, I had actually just purchased my new Erin Condren the same week that this article um, detailing what had happened was released. And I was able to cancel my order because they hadn't processed it yet. So I went out and bought a recollections planner from Michaels instead. And that's what I'm going to be using at the start of July. I am planning to finish out the month of June in my Erin Condren. And then I will make the switch for for the first week of July. So you guys can definitely expect to see that on my channel. If you have any questions about my decision or about what's going on, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to me on Instagram. I'm more than happy to um, engage in a further conversation with you about it. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what my plan was. So anyways, moving back to my spread, for this week, I did not have a quote box, so I decided to write one in myself, and I chose the quote, hate does not live here, um, just in light of everything going on regarding Black Lives Matter, um, I truly feel that there needs to be so much more love in the world, um, there's just no place for hate because it doesn't do anything that benefits um, anyone really in this movement, so that was my quote I chose. The gold foiled workout sticker is from Right Brain Paper Co. Then underneath that, I used a quarter box and a scallop bow header, or I'm sorry, a scallop bow checklist to mark my happy moments. I then put down another quarter box with this Monday through Sunday box at the very bottom for my dinners and closed out the remaining space with a piece of washi. The bow sticker I pulled in for my happy moments is from Nikki Plus Three, and then the utensil sticker is from Hazel Sticker. On Monday, I first placed down a header, and over that, I layered this Today header from Chic Blossom Prints. Then I used a quarter box and this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that it was super hot on Monday. I think this whole week was pretty warm, which was kind of strange because we usually get June gloom. 
Underneath that, I used a flag and a coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I made a Dalgona coffee that day. And the Coffee Monday script sticker is from Planner Just For You. On the half box, I placed down a laptop and that's also new and it's from Right Brain Paper Co. I tried pulling in a ton of my new stickers this week because I was just so excited about having some new icons in my collection. And then underneath that, I used a full box and this box sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I used that to mark packing up my office for the summer. And then I placed down a bow header from Sadie Stickers with a quarter box. And this little gold foiled camera sticker is from Planning Like a Pro. That's also new in my collection, and I use that to mark filming and editing that night. On Tuesday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, then used another bow header from Sadie Stickers with this post-it from Hazel Sticker to mark a training that I had that morning. This was my last full week of work and we just ended up having a ton of trainings because the students are technically on summer break already. And then the laptop sticker I also pulled in is from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. I then used a quarter box with a car sticker from Right Brain Paper Co. again to mark that I had to run some errands that day because I had to grab some groceries. Um, I decided to use this little three bow checklist and because I wanted some more space at the bottom, I shifted everything up just a millimeter um, so I could place down that half box. Um, on the half box, I used a taco sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that I made some shrimp fajita tacos that night, which were super delicious. The recipe I used is from the Glam Kitchen and she is a black food blogger um, that I found on Instagram and she's got some really amazing recipes. So if you guys are looking for some new recipes or some new food blogs, I would definitely recommend hers. And then at the very bottom, I used a computer sticker from the kit and this YouTube binge sticker in my writing that's from Planner Just For You to mark that I did a YouTube binge that night. And I also pulled in this little bow sticker from Chic Chic Designs. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom before moving to the top. So at the top, I decided to first place down a Sadie sticker bow header. Then on a half box, I placed down this really pretty corner scallop that's from Panda Bird Designs. And I also used this laptop sticker from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I had another full day of training for work. I then used this taco sticker from Love Shira, but her shop's no longer open, so I'm super sorry about that. I do still have a ton of her stickers to use. Then underneath that, I used a bow checklist, but I whited out the bows to make it more of a third box, and that pillow sticker is from Planning Like a Pro. To give it some foil, I added another little bow sticker from Chic Chic Designs, and then underneath that, I used a strip of washi with a workout time sticker from Planner Just For You, and this shoe sticker from Planning Like A Pro. I then placed down a quarter box, and because I had some empty space left underneath, I pulled in this gold foiled bow divider sticker that's from Samantha May Sticks, and then on the quarter box, I used a gold foiled TV icon from Magic Prince Co. to mark that we watched the finale of a show called Black AF, and it's a show on Netflix. It's really, really funny. Um, I would recommend it. Um, then on the full box, I used this little speech bubble icon. That is from Mochi Kichi, and I use that to mark having a conversation with one of my friends about the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, then moving to Thursday, I used a header at the very top. That today's script sticker again is from Chic Blossom Prints and it's the same one I used on Monday. I then placed down another post-it from Hazel Sticker with this pencil sticker that is from Samantha May Sticks. And I also used this work script sticker from Planner Just For You because then I didn't have to write it in myself. And I just kind of wrote a little checklist of things I had to do for work that day. Um, I then realized that I had written on the pencil sticker. So I shifted it down just a little bit and then whited out where I had written on the sticker. Underneath that, I used a full box and then used a bow header from Sadie Sticker with a three bow checklist to mark some things that I had gotten done that evening. And um, I did another YouTube binge that night, so I put that on a quarter box. The um, laptop sticker is from Magic Prince Co. And then I did record a voiceover at the very end of the night, so I cut down a washi strip into a little arrow. And that gold foiled microphone sticker is from Planning Like a Pro. 
I didn't like the way that I drew the arrow, so I decided to white it out. And then moving to Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very top. I pulled in this laptop sticker from Planning Like a Pro and this Work From Home script sticker in my writing. That is from Planner Just For You. Um, then I used another bow header and pulled in this gold foiled heart checklist. I think that's from Paper Blush Bar. I got that quite a while ago. Um, but anyways, I marked going to Trader Joe's and then picking up um, some boba because I was stopping by a friend's house and just dropping off some goodies for her because I knew that she was having kind of a rough week. I then placed down a half box and used a gold foiled heart sticker. That is from Hazel Sticker. And um, I just marked catching up with my friend. We just stood outside her house because obviously I didn't want to go inside because of COVID. And um, we just ended up having a really long conversation and it was really good getting to catch up with her about things that were going on. Um, then underneath that, I used a quarter box and a workout time sticker from Planner Just For You along with a dumbbell from Hazel Sticker to mark that I did a workout that afternoon. I then went to the store really quick and um, I used a gold foiled grocery icon from Hazel Sticker to mark that. And then at the end of the night, I prepped some baby back ribs that I was going to be making the following day. I used a little oven mitt from Dizzy Dizzy Dreams. For the weekend, I first started by placing down that really gorgeous weekend banner. Um, I really love the font that she used along with like the florals on that banner background. I just think it's so perfect and I'm so in love. And then on Saturday, I first placed down a Sadie sticker bow header and then I decided to use a flag from the kit with this laptop from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark that I had uploaded a plan with me that morning. I then placed down a half box and then I used a full box at the very bottom because I knew that's where I wanted it. And on the half box, I used this bow sticker from Nikki plus three to mark that I went to a Black Lives Matter sit in protest that day. And it was really powerful. We got to hear stories and experiences from black men and women in our community. And um, it was just, you know, really enlightening to hear what they had to say and how they had experienced racism in our very own city. So yeah, I was really glad that I was able to be there and to show my support. Then I used a washi strip with this um, phone icon from Planning Like a Pro to mark that I did a virtual chat with some of my girlfriends. Um, I do later switch this out because I didn't want there to be so much pink in that middle section. Um, but anyways, underneath that, I used this rib sticker from Happy Dia Stickers to mark that I made my ribs that I had prepped the night before. At the very bottom on the full box, I pulled in this TV sticker from Happy Dia Stickers to mark that we watched a couple things on Netflix. We watched Michael Shea's stand-up comedy, which was really funny. And then we also watched the Michelle Obama documentary called Becoming. And I really, really liked it. I admire her so much as both the former Flotus um, as well as just a person. I mean, she's just like such an incredible person. So anyways, I really thoroughly enjoyed that. And then this is where I switched out that pink washi strip for this gray quarter box instead because I knew I was going to be putting a um, pink full box next to it on Sunday. For Sunday, I first started by placing down a header and another one of those gold foiled day script stickers from Chic Blossom Prints. I then used a half box and then a full box underneath that, but because I felt like there was so much pink in that space, I switched out the half box for a yellow one instead. I used this house icon from Right Brain Paper Co. to mark that I went over to a friend's house to help her pack up that day because she was moving out and um, she was going to be moving to a new place. She just needed some help like getting everything into her car so um, I just wanted to help her out with that and then we also grabbed some lunch and some boba. So to mark that I cut up a flag using a washi strip from the kit and that gold foiled boba sticker is from Hazel Sticker. On the quarter box, I just marked helping her move and the car sticker is from Right Brain Paper Co. I pretty much just lounged around when I got home. Um, it was a pretty lazy Sunday night, so that was definitely a nice way to end the week. And now I'm just moving back to my sidebar and tracking all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. Um, I decided to fill out all the stuff where I was writing on sticker paper first because my Inkjoy gel pen has a really hard time switching between different types of paper. And so I did all the sticker stuff first and then I wrote on the planner.
Now I'm just showing you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit. Um, and once I'm done with that, I do a quick viv wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I got to pull in. Um, I think this turned out so pretty. I was able to pull in quite a bit of foil and just really add some sparkle to the spread. So yeah, I really like how this turned out. I think it's a really great transition into summer with these brighter yellows and these greens. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. Please let me know if you guys have any questions, whether it's about the stickers I used or if it's about anything else that I mentioned today. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are. Thank you so much for your support as always, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.